Hey everyone, it's Voss with the Voss Coin YouTube channel, and today I'm here to bring you a quick, informative video, and I've got some breaking news. Let's kick it off with the top question. What is the Ant Miner A3 profitability? Well, here's the deal. It's always going to vary. Today is going to be different than tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be different than next week. And with an ASIC, you can expect it to go down. And eventually, I would say it's going to level out somewhere around, you know, 15, 20 bucks a day. If you look at the other ASICs, that's kind of where they're at. Ant Miner L3 Plus and S9, right now they're getting, you know, somewhere around 15, 20, 25 bucks a day, depending on how you want to look at it. So just keep that in mind. Today, we have the surprising earnings of $125 a day. That's higher than I expected. So, quite honestly, I'm impressed with that. Let me tell you how I got that number. I, over the last uh, hour on SciMining.com, I've earned 133 SciCoin. Okay, so we'll just take that times 24, and that gives us the profitability of about 125 bucks. In retrospect, over the last day, I've actually made more than that because as time is progressing, more Ant Miner A3s are reaching their destination. The difficulty is going up. Therefore, more people chipping away at the same pie, you're gonna get a smaller piece of it. On the same topic, I'm gonna to have a direct link to my Ant Miner A3 on SciMining.com, which you can get real-time readouts of how much I'm mining and estimate profitability off of that instead of using a calculator. I wanna make a note for all you guys using my pool info to connect to my pool and just put funny messages on there. Honestly, that was hilarious. And, uh, I told, I showed Crypto Chick and you know, who, wow, look at her. She went to, totally to her head, guys, totally to her head. Then this guy put this and I don't know, I don't know, man, <laughs> I don't know. In addition to that, I think I'm saying your name right, probably not, Radik Kaizik or Thysik. One, thank you so much, man. Basically what he did, if you look at this chart, he donated an hour of his uh, mining power to me as uh, a way to show thanks. And honestly, that is so cool. So thank you so much for doing that. If you're gonna donate your hash power in prime time like this, that's a big deal, man. So seriously, thank you so much. I'm not worried about that throwing the overall earnings off because I can factor that out and it's pretty easy and realistically to give the most uh, forward thinking projection anyway, I'm just using the 60 minute mark because with SciCoin being such, or Sci mining being the massive pool here, you can safely assume the readings are pretty accurate for a projection because they just hit so many blocks. All right, for whatever it's worth, I wanna basically put out my official review on the Ant Miner A3, you know, if that matters. So here it is. The Ant Miner A3 is good quality, just like every other Ant Miner. It's easy to use and it's pretty quick. You know, some people give me crap say you don't like ASICs, you don't support ASICs, but you have ASICs. I'm a cryptocurrency channel, man, and, and I'm doing reviews. I'm not gonna just completely write them off. I'm gonna buy one and I'm gonna review it, and that's that, simple as that. It's fun and I enjoy it. I'm not gonna build a farm out of ASICs, but I will buy an ASIC and use it and check it out. I'm not just gonna be blind to one side of the mining sphere. There's always gonna be ASICs, and hopefully, there's always gonna be GPUs. So on that note, the A3, it's a little bit of a different design. If you see, it's got the high top, kind of like those uh, Volkswagen vans you take around the world. And um, other than that, it runs a little hot, but you know maybe that's just because I overclocked it. And you know, for, in full disclosure, I'd never recommend overclocking. Um, you know, I don't support overclocking, it void your warranty, and it's riskier and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, mining right now is prime time. So. Yeah, I overclocked my Ant Miner A3. And how much? I would recommend checking out an overclock at like 650. You can bump it up as much as you'd like. I went all the way up to 675. And I'll show you a screenshot, show you the frequency exactly what I'm talking about. You just click over here, and uh, basically it's that simple to overclock an ASIC. And with that, I have mine settled in at 668 and it gives me an average hash rate of about like 927 giga hash a second. I haven't checked the power consumption and quite honestly I don't care because right now it's prime time and once everything settles down and this is just like every other ASIC as far as profitability, then I'll probably just return it to stock settings and you know, go for the long haul there. I'm not going to go on and on. Ant Miner is an Ant Miner. This one's good. And uh, I haven't had any kind of problems with my boards going down and stuff like that. Even with the overclock, the D3s were the worst amp miner that I've ever had between my S9, L3 Plus, and now this A3. So I put the A3 up there with the S9s and the L3 Plus. So let's talk breaking news. The SciCoin development team, which have a reputation for being transparent, and they were under basically a magnifying glass from the entire cryptocurrency universe this week. That sucks, you know, that's stressful. That's, they, they have so much at stake here between their obelisk venture, you know, whether or not the conflict of interest and all that stuff, obelisk is one of their babies. It's their baby's baby, you know, if, 
you know, Psy Coin is their baby, then Obelisk is like their grandson. So it's in their best interest to do what's best for it and protect it. And they have a lot of money and time invested into that. Bitmain basically came out of nowhere and like I said in another video, kind of stole their baby. If this was your baby and you felt like someone just basically stole your baby, are you gonna raise what's their baby now? Or you're like, well, I guess I might as well go have another baby because that's now Bitmain's baby. You know, that was maybe a little far-fetched, but uh, I think that's a realistic way of maybe looking at this. Moving forward though, whether you agree or disagree with their uh, position, they decided to not soft fork or hard fork the coin, at least for now. So all Ant Miner A3 owners can rejoice. I mean, you know, obviously I'm not looking to lose on my investment here, but you know, I also want the right things to happen. And in my opinion, what they did is the right decision. But it's not just about my opinion, it's about everyone being happy and on board. And there's a, there's a whole community of Sciacoin. And I can't really preach from inside the community. I'm not an OG. Uh, I, of course, I came in with the recent wave of all the A3 owners and all the recent publicity Sidecoin has gotten you know, in conjunction with that. There's no disputing that. I'm not going to act like I was some kind of closet Sidecoin supporter and um, I was really big on it. I understand what the project is. I've been familiar with it, but it's not something I've actively followed. I wasn't reading their Reddit. And uh, I've always wanted this, one of those uh, Sidecoin mining boxes. Dude, check this out. I think This is cool. So I'm trying to get one of these. Uh, some people say they can build one for cheaper, but again, you know, I like reviewing stuff. So I'm dying to get one of these and review on the channel, especially now because I'm gonna be uh, hodling some Sidecoin. And in full disclosure, um, I'm holding on my Sidecoin. I'm going along on it. I'm, I'm paying the bills for this with uh, my other miners and everything else. And uh, yeah, so for whatever it's worth, if you are thinking, you know, are you selling every day? Are you converting to this or whatever? To show my support, you know, to the community, and in addition to just if you look historically, and this does not mean that this will be the same in the future, that you know, past results don't you know signal future ones or whatever that freaking quote is that everybody loves to say. If you look at the L3 plus and you look at the D3, what did Litecoin and Dash do? Skyrocketed in price. This isn't professional investment advice, and obviously do whatever you can do and risk everything you can afford to lose and don't do anything on debt and all that kind of stuff, but uh yeah, I'm going along on it, so that's just my two cents there. So a gentleman goes by the name Edward Grubb. He reached out to me about the M minor eight or excuse me, D3s, and his projection proved to be pretty accurate on the estimated amount. He reached out to me again for the M minor eight threes, and he has informed me that due to the basically bot he wrote, which is super cool if this is all true, or maybe it's not, but last time he was proven pretty accurate. And you can take this for whatever it's worth, but he stated that there were about 5,000 Ant Miner A3s sold the first day. And he hasn't been able to compute accurately the Ant Miner A3s sold on the second day. So if you'd like to help in that uh, computation, please comment below with the transaction ID on your Bitcoin cash payment to uh, Bitmain. And you know we can try to figure this out. There's a lot of speculation. I see this stupid rumor that 90,000 units have been sold. That's kind of ridiculous, man. That's just kind of ridiculous. I would realistically speculate somewhere between, you know, 10, 15 K is kind of what we're looking at. Bitmain is going to drive the profits down on these, but they're not going to drive them down to where they're worthless. And I don't think they're going to make the same mistake of the D3 again, at least not back to back. Again, that's speculation. But at the end of the day, if they do that back to back, eventually people are going to wise up and stop buying their stuff. Ultimately, this is my breakdown of a side coin and the Ant Miner A3 saga. I'm going to revisit these in the future, of course, but I, I know I've had so much content on this lately. Kind of came out of nowhere, but it was such a just crazy development. I've really been just swallowed up in it and uh, not really focusing on much else because it's just been wild. So much information to take in and so much research to be done. So if you're interested in more updates, just follow my line, my miner in the description. Other than that, I'm not going to have another video out on this subject for a while. And I hope you enjoyed this series. I know it was a little bit off the wall and a little away from what I normally do, but this is, you know, essentially breaking news. With that said, I like the Ant Miner A3 from my actual production piece. It's good quality. I have another ASIC in right now that's uh, doing pretty crappy, which I'll talk about soon. And then in addition to that, uh, the profitability, again, you know, it'll continue to go down. I imagine Bitmain will drive it down to the same uh, profit area of the other A6, or they'll keep it a little bit above it to try to save some of their face after the whole D3 debacle. Who knows? We'll see. Other than that, 
I would just like to see the whole SciCoin community heal, whether it's you know the old and the new, the Opelisk uh, pre-orders, as well as the Ant Miner owners and everyone else in between. Again, it's not totally my place to say there, but at the end of the day, I want the best for everyone. And above that, I want the best for crypto. And if outsiders look inside the cryptocurrency community and we're fighting at each other and there's so much drama, that's poor for the wide scale adoption. If you look at the actual people invested in crypto, like truly invested, they're actually, it's a pretty small number and we need to take this to the next level. And a big part of that is just continuing to be the awesome individuals in the cryptocurrency community that you know I know you guys all are. I would say that the crypto community is the coolest, most intelligent, awesome, fun community I've ever been involved with. Previously, I was huge into the car community and not to talk crap about the car community and shout out to all my car guys are also crypto guys watching this video but the crypto community blows the car community away as far as just you know just being a welcoming awesome community and with that said guys please make sure to subscribe to the boss coin youtube channel and i'll see you next time I'll be home.